guys, so the number one question that I get asked on Tumblr and just in general is how to move on from a breakup slash an ex. Sometimes it's about a friend, but generally it's about a breakup and I'm going to share my advice with you like I would a friend. Um, I hope that you guys can see me as like a good friend you come to for advice. That being said though, this is not a foolproof proof not a foolproof method there is no such thing and unfortunately and I know this is gonna be very annoying to hear right off the bat the only thing that truly heals a breakup or a loss or something is time said so much because it's true time allows you to gain perspective on the relationship and eventually you will come to accept it even though in the moment it won't feel that way so I'm gonna give you some tips kind of I mean they're not there's only so much you can say to someone who's going through a breakup, but generally they kind of have to do it on their own, but hopefully these things will help you feel a little bit more positive about your situation if you're going through it now, or maybe you guys can relate to it if you've gone through it and maybe share some of your own advice in the comments for other people who may be reading it. Now in the first stages of a breakup, I really recommend just crying, venting, screaming, doing whatever you need to do, just get it out, have solo pity parties for one in your room, listen to sad music, do whatever you need to do. Um, only you know what your relationship was and what you fit felt and what you feel currently, so only you are going to know what is going to help you. Um, if you don't have someone to vent to, well, you can always vent to me in my Tumblr if you want, or you can journal. Um, journaling, I find, helps because you can really get everything off your chest and just delete it later if you don't want to look back on it because I don't recommend doing that. And if you feel like you've never ha got a chance to say everything you wanted to say to that person, uh, I recommend writing a letter but not sending it. You can write it with the intention of sending it so that way it feels a little bit more heartfelt, but uh, after some time I recommend destroying it. Or you can always send the letter to me. I'm not going to share it with anyone, don't worry. Um, if you want to send it to somebody, you can type it out in my Tumblr also and send it to me if you feel like you just need to like send it to somebody. But after some time, destroy it. Burn it, rip it up, delete it if it's on your computer. Just get rid of it because once it's out there and you've gotten it, everything that you wanted to say out. There's no point in holding on to that. Um, you may want to keep it for some time and then it's a little comforting to know that if you ever had the urge you could send it but I really don't recommend doing that. Now when you feel ready to be proactive when maybe you're getting a little bit tired of being so pitiful towards yourself and having these pity parties and you're just done with it and you're like I'm ready to just give this up already, do something proactive, something creative maybe, and make a huge change. I mean, it doesn't have to be huge, but for some people that means different things. Um, for instance, after my breakup, I bleached my hair and got a tattoo and that helped me uh, gain some closure in that time of my life. Um, I was also go th going through a painful experience aside from the breakup. Um, as well at the same time. So it was a very intense time of my life and I have the tattoo to remind me of that and the pain that I felt during the tattoo was also symbolic because it, you know, reminds me every day that pain is temporary and even though the tattoo hurt like a bitch, it ended at one point or another. So that's just something that I did. Obviously tattoos aren't for everybody, dyeing your hair is not for everybody, but you can cut your hair off, you can dye it, you can get a piercing or something, you can take a road trip to somewhere you've never been, drive aimlessly into the sunset, I don't know, um, or just rearrange your room. Do something small like that because sometimes it helps and it just to have something change in our lives in addition to the major change that we're going through internally can help. Also change the ringtone and the text tone on your phone. Sounds some like something like wouldn't help but it's said to have helped people so maybe it'll help um you'll be less likely to be like oh is that him texting me is that is she texting me um maybe maybe it'll help another thing i did after my breakup and after the whole experience with the other person i was going through um i signed up for a class i was like i'm gonna do something for myself and that i think is empowering and the class i signed up for was a camping trip to the middle of nowhere and I knew nobody. Um, I didn't end up going on it, but just signing up for the class was enough for me 
to be like, I can do this. I can be independent. I don't need somebody. And it was enough. Now, you shouldn't feel like you have to hide your feelings or suppress it at any point in time. If you need to cry, just cry. Um, don't feel like you have to hide it all the time. Or, like, you need to suppress it inside, even when you're by yourself and that it's, like, wrong to feel like this. Feel it fully because it is an experience that a lot of us go through and it's something that can make us a whole human being. You know, it's one of those um, experiences that really help us grow. And again, after some time passes, you'll be able to gain that perspective. But honestly, you know, in the beginning, you're not going to be like, I'm learning so much from this right now. It is a part of life and you should embrace it even though it sucks because we can't have the good without the bad and we need the bad to appreciate the good and you know maybe there was a reason why the relationship ended and I think after some time you'll be able to realize that it is a very much a growing experience for you. Now as you're starting this new phase in your life make sure that you let go of your baggage and don't let it knock your confidence because you are not your actions, you are not your past, you are not your pain, and you are not what has happened to you and you can start over at any point in time. And at this point it's time for a new chapter maybe even a new book, um, but it's already in your mind. You don't need to dwell about it every five seconds and let it bring your self-esteem down and think that, oh, I have so much baggage. Just let it go. Always remember that an end of a relationship is not a defeat and it's not a failure. It is something that so many of us go through and it is a part of life and it's a growing experience. And it's such a gift in, in, hindsight 2020. It's a gift to be able to feel pain just as strongly as you did the love and you cannot forget that all the courage it took to even open yourself up to a new love in the first place and allowing yourself to get hurt. You should be proud of yourself for embracing that opportunity and you should do it over and over again because it's always worth it to risk pain for love in my opinion. It takes a lot of strength to let go of something and it takes a lot of courage to persevere through such pain because let's face it, emotional pain is far greater than physical and I've been there and you know it's one of the hardest things in life. It's taken me a really really long time to embrace it and look back and be like that was an experience. It's still hard to admit to be honest. Of course if we could, we'd go back and not do it, but I don't think that's the right mindset to have. I think that it's in our past, we shouldn't think about it, and we should just look forward because the future is a blank page and we can write whatever we want on it and we don't need the past to define our future or our present. We can live in the moment and try to do that a little bit more and, you know, try and forget about the things that have happened to us and the pain in our past. Just know that it does pass. If you take nothing else from this video, know whatever you're going through is completely temporary. Every feeling we have in life is temporary, including the good ones. So that's why we should embrace them when they come because it shows that we're human and pain is part of being human. So do what you need to do to help the pain. If that is cry and scream into your pillow, um, obviously don't do anything harmful to yourself or others, <laughs> um, even if it helps you. Um, if you feel like you ever need to do something like that, please just go to my Tumblr and you can be completely anonymous and vent it out to me because I will read it and I may not always respond because I do get so many, but just know that I will read it and Hopefully I can be there for you, at least as an ear, because um, more than anything, I want to be that person for you guys, as someone that will listen to you. I hope this has helped some of you, at least a couple of you. I know it's such a hard time, and it's such a hard experience that a lot of us have to face, um, but it will pass. Remember the quote, this too shall pass. I know it's cheesy, but just remember it. Let me know what other things you would like some advice on, um, psychology related or not, uh, lifestyle re related, whatever. It doesn't have to be as heavy as a breakup, but just let me know down below what you would like me to give advice on next, and I will talk to you guys soon. Oh my god, there's a spider in my bag. There is a spider inside the bag. Okay. Did it die? Going in.